there, Ocean Siders. So, I want to tell you of a tale back in 2015 of a spooky tale. When we first moved here, in our very first home that we lived in, in Port Orange, uh, it was a rental property for about 750 dollars It was a piece of junk. But we were living out of a hotel, so we had to find some place to land. Um, in order to get out of the hotel, so it was getting a little expensive. So we get to the this house. We finally get it, uh, all of our stuff moved in. And there's a few little quirks about this place. So in the kitchen area, it was like a... I mean, the whole house is like a, almost like a skateboard ramp or a skate park. The floors kind of went like this. It was this. a house. <laughs> and then the, um, from the front entryway all the way down to the end of the home back to where the Florida, uh, the, no, was it Florida room? It was kind of like started up higher here and it was like sloped down towards the bottom. And I think our washer and dryer was almost like you know, going to like almost fall through the floor or whatever. And that was our like our little mini garage because this place didn't have a garage. So we had all of our crap back um, kind of stored in there as well. Anyway, so um, this home, you know, had its quirks. Uh, we also one time had um, woke up at five in the morning and I just sat up out of bed and I look over to the across the way. You could see the other bedroom. And in that bedroom, all of a sudden, the plaster just fell in. Well, what happened was, is the air conditioner's in the ceiling. So it was dripping, 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 dripping. And then finally it just gave way and all this plastered, weighted down um, ceiling came down, right? So it was all because of this, it's been up there and just kind of leaking out of one of the ducts. So this came down and it was plaster, guys. So you try to lift this stuff. It's like a big old piece that came out of the ceiling. It was about probably like 10 pounds. I mean, this thing was freaking heavy. So that was really crazy. And then we had um, one night we would go, uh, this was a you know, few months being in the home. We went out, we would go outside, you know, at night to just kind of relax, enjoy the Florida, you know, around the spring, summertime, I think it was when we were there. So we're out there and there's this retention pond or a fountain that's just like right over in this little park area where you could walk around it. They had like a nice little walkway around it. We'd walk our dog out there and stuff sometimes. But at night, the they had the like water. <laughs> yeah, our dog didn't like it. So you have this retention pond with this fountain that's in the middle, right? So whenever you would look out at there, there was like, well, here, let me show you a photo here. So basically, if you look in the middle of this photo, you'll see in the middle that there's like a, it looks, like a man standing there, almost with his back, um, you know, standing against a wall or something. And then like a dog by his side and then standing there like, kind of looks like the Marlboro Man is what we thought he kind of looked like. But the, um, and also if you look in the, uh, near those, near that, where that water fountain is over to the side, you'll see a bunch of like pictures of like, looks like almost like, uh, images of heads or something like that. There's one that looks like a little joker face. He has like a little hat on, he's like black or whatever. And you, you know, you can see that in the picture. My wife even sent these pictures to her friends and her friends were like sending her pictures back via text saying, oh, look at this, look at this. And they were like circling all these different images that they were seeing in the picture when they blew it up and right, you know, putting big red circles around things. It was crazy. So we would go out there and we would see the Marlboro Man or whatever this guy was. Um, every night. Every night we would see this. It was freaking nuts. But um, we did have a paranormal group go out there from Port Orange and they went in and they gave us a call back or emailed us back, something like that, about what they thought it was. And they concluded that this was like a residual haunting to where residual hauntings where something gets played over and over and over again from a person that has passed away. So, but we um, also went out there sometimes just to screw around. We had those, I mean, I'm sure somebody's done this before where you're out there and you download an app to see if, you know, hey, are you there? Is there anyone here? Asking, what happened <laughs> yeah, what happened to you? He and, construction. Yeah, he said construction, construction or whatever. So we did ask the neighbor across the street and we're like, hey, 
we don't want to sound crazy, but have you ever noticed? Just look at the fountain. Tell me what you see. And she looked at it. She was looking and looking. She goes, oh my God, I've never seen that before. Never. And she lived there well before we did. She was, I don't know. Years. Years she's been there across the street. So it was insane. But that's basically our story from our home in 2015 when we first moved here to Florida. Whoa. But to let you guys know, the fountain is no longer there. How creepy is that? Into the next one. We'll see ya. Take care.